RNG. Okay, are you gonna do your little side shuffle? Yes, you are. Done. Done. Next. She is down. Moving on. Next target here. Done. Situation like that where she's not going to turn her head, just kill her. Don't let her get the poison off on you. We can make up that shot later. That shot while you can. Take that shot. Pop that, reload these. Don't be like me, hit your shots. Please hit, thank you. Get up and roll. Remember, don't take damage from falls. Fine. At this point, turn, run. Remember, once again, stick to the left. We got the ten headshots. We're already really good on time. Just keep running. Stick to the islands. Get that extra speed so you're not in deep water. Run, grab, outrun the hive. Bam. Hard is done. Next trial. Take your time, line up your shots. You want to clear out everybody around the emulators. Try not to get them close to yellow barrels, but... If you do like I did, then, you know, you might run into some problems. Oh. Uh, I don't know if I can go through that. Shoot her down now real quick. Okay, cannot go through that. that headshot. Now where was that emulator from earlier? I'm not 100% sure where that emulator from earlier is. Oh well. Oh! I wasn't watching my ammo. Nice, I don't remember that you have that. 
Headshot. Headshot. Okay. Headshot. With that, we have two of the emulators that we need to kill done. And I missed my other shot. gonna go off, run a little bit. I missed my shot. I missed again. Okay, so now we got the three emulators done. So just ignore the emulators, find non emulators, and shoot them in the head. Enough in advance. Okay, she's not turned her head towards me. Wasn't a headshot. I got 27 seconds to get one more headshot and not have something die to uh, fire. And bam. It's really not that hard. The biggest thing is the don't let it die by fire thing, which can be avoided by clearing all non-emulators first, then going for the emulator. As long as you do that, you'll be fine. And I just hit replay. I didn't mean to do that. Ah, yeah. Take the shot. Take a shot. Take the shot. Take a shot. The fact that that took two shots, I don't like. All right, get through that one. Run to the side a little bit here. Do not step in that one yet. Now step in that one. Okay, should be good to then run this a little bit here. Oh, what are you doing all the way out there, dude? Oh, do I make it into this one in time? make it oh please make it in time okay I made it good take shot take shot run up you can take fall damage that's fine so long as you don't take bleed damage that guy's already been kind enough to us to trap himself Allowing us to ascend the ladder here, hopefully cleanly. Keep going, keep going. Take a single shot there. Take another shot there. Got a grunt right around the corner here. If 
fire damage is okay. We can take that. Oh, forget it. Do not step in that boat. There's a bear trap in there. In this case, I killed my 20 grunts. I just need to do that and done. Missed a checkpoint, got 20 grunts. Sometimes you gotta wait at a checkpoint, take some shots on some grunts out and about in the field, then take the checkpoint just before time runs out to give yourself the amount of time you need. Uh, if you don't have enough bullets, I think it's like four or five bullets to deal with that final Constantina armored here, you can do what I did try and draw him down the ramp and then jump up the ramp when he's at the bottom because then he's gonna have to stop his forward momentum, turn around. And then just run and hit that last uh, checkpoint. We'll just hit this guy up real quick. Kill and immediately vanish. Okay, the other guy is up there. Now, if you come up to this roof here, grunts don't spawn up here. So, if you're looking to take care of grunts and stuff like that... You can also, uh, set some of the farther barrels on fire. Set them off. Now, you gotta be careful with grunts because they do have... You know, torches in their hands and they will... try and hit you like that. Another thing you gotta watch out for is lanterns. As you don't want to hit the lanterns. So as much as possible, try and get back out on this roof. It'll be beneficial for you in the long run. Set that one off real quick. Um, another grunt's inside, huh? Get a few grunts with that one. Grunts can't come in through that open hole. So at this point, we need to do one more armored and a, kill a bunch more grunts with fire. So do what you can to, you know, garner grunts together. That armor was kind enough to burn himself for us. So one of the things we want to do is try and get close enough to not get burned ourselves. So now the big thing here is getting enough grunts close enough together to burn for the last four. Which there are multiple ways to do that, and one of the big things is there are grunts out there, but no red barrel here. Hmm. I don't 
don't care about the bleed damage. What I care about is you and your fire damage. Yes! There it is. Basically, you sometimes want to just gather the grunts and then blow them up if you can help it. Now, this one's kind of also dependent because armors will spawn randomly around the compound. But if you stick to that one rooftop and look at it from there and just recognize some of the best locations, because not a lot of grunts spawn inside, but they do, so be careful. You just want to get the armors from the main compound if you can. Um, as far as grunts go... Try and group them together near yellow barrels if you can. If you can't, you got fire bombs. Just make sure you hit them directly or a surface that will hit them and a bunch of others. And then it's literally just, you know, take your time. Because you saw, I still have like a minute and seven seconds left. Take your time. Think about it. You know, what do you have at your disposal? And go from there. 